Hello everyone, this is Gorax. Today I'm super excited to introduce you to the brand new castle champion unit Light Dragon. In this short first impression video, I'll be giving you an overview of Light Dragon's skills and sharing my initial thoughts on his potential as a buffer and debuffer in your team. If you want to see more or have a specific test in mind, be sure to join me during my upcoming live stream. One question that immediately comes to mind is whether Light Dragon can replace the Darmef Seraph or even the powerful Red Dragon in Alamar. Another possibility is whether Light Dragon may be a splashable unit in other formations, much like Seraph. To kick things off, I'll be testing Light Dragon's capabilities in Darmef vs Darmef matchup, a common scenario in higher tier gameplay. Stay tuned to see how this exciting new unit performs. After running more than 10 seats, I found that Darmef with Light Dragon has about a 50% chance of winning against Darmef with Seraph. The matches were all incredibly close. I also experimented with using Jealousy Emblems on Light Dragon, but found that using Everlasting Secret yielded better results overall. Despite Light Dragon's slightly lower damage output compared to Seraph, in that particular, particular scenario, as Darmif does not run melee units and Light Dragon excels at dealing damage to front row enemies, which you will see further in this video. The good news is that if you haven't maxed out Seraph, Light Dragon is a solid replacement option. Moving on to Darmif versus Alamar, which is typically a losing, losing matchup for most Darmif teams. While I did see a slight improvement over using Seraph, the, the fights were still quite one-sided, and Alamar emerged victorious in all my tests, despite my attempts to crack his defenses with multiple seats. However, I did notice some amazing damage output from Light Dragon in a few fights, particularly thanks to his melee cliff ability, which was especially effective against Alamar's high number of melee units. In battles against Kov, I found that Light Dragon struggled to stay alive when facing the high damage output from Green Dragon and Regnan Acha. Despite this, Darmif still had a chance to win against Samafi with Light Dragon, just as she does with Seraph. As for other factions, I believe that they are currently losing to Darmif, so there was no need to test Light Dragon's impact against them at this time. While Light Dragon's performance may vary depending on the opponents and the specific scenarios, he definitely shows potential as a versatile unit with buffing and debuffing skills. As for Darmif particular, if you already invested into Seraph, you might want to wait and see how Light Dragon performs after release. In my latest round of testing, I wanted to see if Light Dragon could replace Red Dragon in Alamar team and provide the necessary damage output to take down tanky opponents. In my first battle, I faced an opponent with Devil Tank, and despite the backline dying early on, Alamar could not win due to lack of the damage to the tanks. However, after adding Light Dragon, the tides of the battle changed and Amal Alamar emerged victorious. While Light Dragon showed great damage potential, his position was still an issue and he died quickly in some scenarios. Against Samafi, I was surprised to see that Light Dragon was able to survive better against Green Dragon and Regnan Ache compared to Darmes. This highlights the importance of Emerald Dragon's utility. However, despite Light Dragon's improved survivability, I still ended up losing the fight, and there were instances where Light Dragon couldn't survive long enough to make a significant impact on the game. In my battles against Adrienne, I found that Light Dragon performed better than the Red Dragon, and this was consistent across multiple attempts. The Light Dragon didn't face much threat to its survivability on the fortress side and was able to deal tremendous damage. 
I even managed to win once with just one second remaining on the clock. Overall, I felt that the Light Dragon had a positive impact on the Alamar team, but it's worth noting that Red Dragon has yet to reach its full potential with Star Awakening. In my opinion, the Light Dragon is a solid unit for buffing and debuffing and it can definitely help your team to take down enemy front lines. However, it might not be suitable addition for every team, or it might only offer a slight upgrade, so it's important to consider all of the factors before deciding to acquire the Dragon of Light. Of course, this is just a quick review, and if you want to see more of the Light Dragon in action, be sure to tune in to my live stream where I'll be doing more testing. Plus, I'll be giving away diamonds and might even try out your own formation. Thank you for watching, stay safe, bye!